Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're watching the semifinals between CIV and Cuba. Uh, specifically, we're looking for two different things. We're looking for um, a move for right after. I'm bringing this down so that we that way you guys can see a move for right after the initial kick for, on the offense, and then the same thing for defense if someone is doing this to you. So I've covered this in one of my other videos, but I saw these guys execute really, really well. They're starting to people are starting to do doubles or bullet kicks right after the cancel um, as a viable option. Kind of in this opening round between these two guys. These are both explosive semifinal of the Grand Prix, I believe. Cancel, and as soon as it goes down, double here by Cuba. Per well executed. Small pointers is after initially after he um, after he wins the cancel or he's able to successfully put him back. He uses that momentum to go straight into the double. So as CIV is falling backwards and trying to recover his balance, he essentially can't really properly defend this. He can only use his arms, and one of those is able to sneak in. We see one more example here. Same idea. We're going to see the same thing, but CIV is doing it back to him. Cancel, cancel, or cancel after the first cut. A little bit more leg play and this time, um, even yeah, this one was a little bit more risky because obviously Cubo had a headshot waiting in store, but nonetheless, still threw it anyway. The timing of both of these, no, if you guys notice, is right after the cancel. The initial, the initial plays before this, you know, there was a cancel and not much happened. Cancel or a block, not much happened. Boom. And then right into that. So excellent job by both sides here. For those of you guys who are trying to practice that with your partner, cancel and assume, practice forcing them back and then doing a double. I wouldn't practice this, especially if you lose the cancel battle. If you're the one who's falling backwards, even if you're the one trying to cancel and you're falling backwards, I would not suggest doing this. I would suggest doing this with the intention of forcing them back and then doing a double as they're falling. So really good job here by both sides, showing two good examples. Now, if someone's doing this kind of thing to you, uh, obviously you don't want to get doubled. Uh, Cuba did a kind of a hint here where he has it and he flicks it toward the head. That's kind of what you want to do. It was down a little bit, and that was an excellent, excellent fit. It happens really fast. Here, watch CIV, one, and flick to the face. A great way to set this up is initially if you've been doing a lot of headshots or a lot of single single kicks to the body as your defense, and then you're resetting, single kick to the body, re setting, resetting as defense, and your opponent is now conditioned that you're putting your leg down right away. I would suggest, uh, especially if they want to follow up right after that, is to hold it for a second just like CIV did, and then and throw it one and two so falls for it perfectly I, I almost hit someone in the AU uh, nationals like this back in 2019 very close but it, it's really really good especially if you're a lot of your game is based off that first leg just one and then you're down and then one and then you're down or if you flick to the face and then it's down when you're able to see that your opponent's trying to adjust and they're waiting for you to put your foot down so they can go a great one to do that is flick it like it's for real and then as they're coming in then flick its face so i'm gonna keep it short today guys really really good stuff by both of these gentlemen um so keep this kind of tips in mind so if you guys like the ideas you guys are seeing here feel free to practice them if you have any questions on how to execute them please let me know and until then i'll see you guys next time